those orders have been discharged, and the court has actually gone further and said that it cannot interfere with the IBC's mandate and has bestowed on it by the statutes and the constitution. In short, under Article 884 of the Constitution and Section 74 of the Elections Act 2011, only IBC has a mandate to deal with questions of nomination. So the import of the order is that Honorable uh, Gubi Sonko will proceed to Mombasa before the county returning officer Mombasa present his nomination papers. If the county returning officer rejects, in the unlikely event that the county returning officer rejects uh, the nomination papers by Honorable Gubi Sonko, then the procedure is that we go to the dispute resolution committee as set up by the IEBC in line with section 74 of the Election Act, where now it will be heard. And then if the dispute resolution committee rejects his appeal, he moves to the High Court. The High Court cannot interfere with the IEBC's uh, work, which is independent. It's an independent commission. So basically, that sets up uh, a new cause for this petition. We are going to, we are actually, we have a, a, a notice of reading and objection on jurisdiction of this court, because this is a pre-nomination matter that ought to be dealt with the IBC, with the established procedure as set out by statute and constitution. So basically, uh, see you in Mombasa tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, mine is to thank the judges that we issued good order that were held for us. That is what I'm most happy about. There are only two things that I would like to say. As a community, as Kenyans, we have problems, but Kenya is a country in our society. We have problems through the terrorism, we have problems due to corruption, and we have problems to do with general crime in the country. But my view is that all these problems we have, we must handle them within the four corners of the constitution. We must handle them within the four corners of the statutory provision. Let us not target an individual because of a fiction or because of certain imaginary ideas and so on. To do so would be subverting the constitution and the consequences will be fatal to all of us. Governor Sonko is not fair. And we should not commit ourselves to manipulate, to water down the constitution because we are targeting one person called uh, Governor Sonko. We have, got, ha, have handled matters relating to Governor Sonko, and you can see quite through that certain people somewhere are trying to manipulate the constitution. They are trying to manipulate the rule of law so that they can actually punish Governor Sonko or make sure that he does not continue to be in political life at all. This is completely wrong. Our civilization as a country is to uphold the Constitution. Our solution as our country is to uphold the law. And as we lawyers usually say, that we must uphold the rule of law. That is what is the most important. What has made me very sad, extremely sad, is a, a note, a media note that was released by the What did that do? Now, Governor Sonko, I mean, look at our fellow Chipokati issued a statement in which he proposed to give some interpretation of the law and some uh, interpretation of the constitution. I happen to know Mr. Wafula Chipokati. 
Mr. Collins, he's a friend of mine. I practiced with him for in Mombasa. We appeared against one another, but we maintained friendship. But what he's done doing now currently is completely wrong. Debukati knows what the law of the country is. Debukati knows what the position of the country is. What he is doing at the moment is wrong. Issuing statements, purporting to uphold the constitution, purporting to uphold the law, and which I believe that he himself knows that that is not the proper interpretation of the law. He has no right to do what he is doing at all. It will bring the country into problems, it will bring the country into chaos. He should stop doing what he's doing at the moment. Governor Sonko is with us now. He will not continue to be with us. In another 100 years, or another 50 years, he will not be with us at all. What is important is that we uphold the constitution. We uphold the rule of law in the country. But let us start as individual, because he's an individual that we don't like to see in the country. Let him allow Governor Sonko to contest election. He made a decision to leave Nairobi to go to Mombasa. Mombasa is part of Kenya. Why should he, not stop, why should he be stopped from contesting in Mombasa? Let him hand to him uh, a license or permit him to stand for governorship in Mombasa. And there he will be doing his job properly. Thank you. My name is Magolo. I practice in Mombasa. And I uh, must say we are happy and uh, we appreciate the decision of the judges today because they have stood by truth. And therefore, we shall be in Mombasa tomorrow. Those who do not like to see Sonko in Mombasa, we better accept it. We shall be in Mombasa, we shall present the papers, and God willing, we shall be there on the 9th or so of August. That's all for now. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, members of the fourth estate. My name is Obiang Bodenek. I'm privileged to be appearing for Governor Mike Sonko. I wish to restrain myself from commenting on issues that are before the court. However, I wish to inform my Sonko supporters in Mombasa that expect him tomorrow as he's going to present his nomination papers before the IEBC. That is a fundamental right that cannot be wished away. Those who don't want to see his face in Mombasa, remember Mombasa is part of this country. And further to that, I'm going to talk politics because I'm avoiding the issues before court. Impeachment is a pure political process. It cannot be equated with a criminal procedure or any other process. This, as far as we are concerned, Mike has not been impeached. It is a process that is still ongoing. People should hold their horses until you are done with the matter that is before the Supreme Court. I wish everybody all the best. Expect Governor Mike Sonko tomorrow in Mombasa before the IBC. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I think my lawyers have covered everything. Let me tackle the political <coughs> people. Uh, I've been crucified a lot by Shibukati in the media. I've been crucified by various government agencies, the DPP, the ESCC. We have a lot of respect for how what, what uh, by, uh, we have mentioned. Uh, but by doing so, by discussing matters that are pending, before the court that is defining the sub uh, uh, rule. I don't want to go to, to, to the details of the case, but I have one question for my friend, Chebukati, whom I respect a lot. Uh, I've been with the government printer, Mr. Mwenda Njoka. I was in his office a few hours ago, and uh, I went to retrieve some gazette notices, two of them, 
One is dated 21st December 2020, volume number 232, whereby in this gazette notice, Chebukati gazetted the by-election for Nairobi uh, for 18th of February, immediately after my impeachment. The only question I have for Chebukati, now let's forget about Meluke, the, the conviction of Meluke. My only question to Chebukati, he issued another gazette notice five days after gazetting the Nairobi by-election on the 4th of January 2021, gazette notice number one. In this gazette notice, Chebukati gazetted all the aspirants for Nairobi by election. He gazetted the aspirants for primaries, that is the nominations for Jubilee, on page four of this gazette notice. No, page five. Page five, <coughs> no, page uh, four, where he gazetted all aspirants. Uh, Agnes Kagure, Dennis Kariuki, Betty Aziabo, Alice Kipkorir, Habib Kongo, yeah, to buy for primaries so that they can participate in the elections. Then if you go to page, uh, page, page six of Chebukati's Gazette Mint, page six, you can see there is Babayao, Ferdinand Waititu, ID number 4307917, who was cleared and gazetted to vie for Nairobi uh, uh, gubernatorial by election. Yeah, and we all know Waititu was also impeached just like Sonko. Now I want to ask you, Bukati, do you have law for Waititu, law for Sonko, law for Weluke? Why do we apply the Constitution of Kenya selectively? This is the, qu the main question which I'm asking. I don't want to go to the merits and the details of the, of the, of the, of the case. My lawyers have dealt with that. Thank you very much.